Why Parent Carer Forums Should Be Consulted About the Shaping of Healthcare Services With Sheila Davies, Parent Carer Participation Manager for Health Hi there, my name is Sheila Davies and I work for Contact to Family and my role there is really supporting parents who want to get involved and try and improve the way health services are delivered locally to their children. Changes are happening to the way the NHS is run because of the Health and Social Care Bill that has just passed through Parliament. At present, primary care trusts commission or purchase most of the health services people access. This includes things like hospital services. It includes community services such as wheelchair services, physiotherapy. It'll include child development centres where a lot of disabled children go for support. Primary care trusts purchase these services, but it is hospitals and community services that actually provide them and deliver them. From April 2013, clinical commissioning groups led by GPs will be responsible for purchasing most of these health services and the primary care trust who used to do that job will no longer exist. Commissioners will draw up a service specification or a description of what the service should look like. This includes things like who's going to be entitled to receive a service, what are the qualifications of the people providing the service, it includes things like how long people should expect to wait before being seen and the types of treatment or equipment that is provided there. They will set standards saying this is how the service should run and how it will be monitored. If commissioners involve parent carers when they drawing up this description of the service, it is much more likely to work for families of disabled children and meet their needs. For further help and information, you can call our free phone helpline on 0808 808 3555. And you can also visit our website at www.cafamily.org.uk.